Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Two Cents Plus and today I wanted to go over the Alpha 17.1 patch notes because last night on the stream we hadn't taken a look at the 17.1 notes uh, as of yet. We just kind of jumped in blindly and we noticed that there were some changes so I actually wanted to go in, look at the changes directly so we can talk about them and figure out what exactly uh, is different now. Um, so first things first, to improve stamina Players now start with 150 food, which is now shown in the HUD and the menu to communicate you can overeat and not waste food. Now, this was something that they announced uh, before this even came out, like before we can even play this. Uh, but we hadn't really seen the effects of it. Uh, but now you can you have a visual representation. Your your uh, stamina can exceed 100. So that way you can actually see it. Well, not your stamina, but your food can. Um, so you can see the effects. Uh, of how far uh, how much further past 100 that there goes there are no detrimental effects it says when the player stamina is between 100 and 150 there are no detrimental stamina effects which is nice so when you overeaten you have kind of like a reserve that won't affect your stamina negatively as long as you were between 100 and 150 so that's cool Strength requirements for Sexual Tyrannosaurus perk have been lowered, which is nice, and we've made the description clear that it does reduce mining stamina costs as well as melee costs, which is nice because this was not specified, even though one could assume it just wasn't specified. We moved it uh, from the combat perk section to a new section called General Strength Perks, and we reduced the stamina cost of all tools. Yes, 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 it was fucking ridiculous. The stamina drain for like the pickaxe and the and the and the mm, and the regular axe it was ridiculous um i'm glad they fixed that because it was it's was ridiculous <clears throat> water now goes to 150 and until the water debuff comes off the screen at 75 percent water you will experience no stamina regeneration penalties so that's good uh, as long as you don't get below 75 percent uh, the no stamina regeneration penalties, which is really nice. Uh, for builders, we have bolstered the XP for harvesting, mining, and substantially allowing for play uh, mining substantially allowing for players uh, for support roles to keep up with combat and scavenger roles. Now, this was very important because the first thing I noticed was that the XP for the harvesting and mining were negligible, like almost non-existent. It, it was almost a waste of time. You could not level up doing that anymore. So if you if that was your role in the group, then you were left behind, period. Uh, there was no way to keep up with everybody else. So they have fixed that dramatically, which is really nice because um, poor monkey. Uh, like I'm usually the miner. Like I usually do the mining and the collecting or whatever. But uh, this time monkey decided to do it. And he was always at least seven to eight levels behind me because I was doing all the killing and scavenging. So that is great. It's a really good one. Now, um, if you have any problems, here's where you report the bugs, and we will continue to fix bugs balances. I will say that they're doing an excellent job at like getting on this shit and taking care of the issues that people have with this game. I'm I'm really liking the pace at which they're pumping out this uh, content. So, uh, here's what they added: entity classes, AI path, cost scale, min, uh, min max. <clears throat> and set a variety of values for different AI entities. I have no idea what this means. This might be uh, some F1 command stuff. Uh, sleeper 20% bonus to AI pass scale. No idea what that means really or what that affects. Uh, vehicle manager saves when vehicles are added or removed. Uh, not quite sure what that means. <laughs> like a lot of this stuff, like we don't really get into the deep, you know, stuff we just kind of play the game or whatever so if you guys know what this means uh then you, you'll know it applies to you and things that you do with the game but i'm not really sure what any of this means added cigars to trader wares which is nice uh the cigar was nice to have because that extra bonus and strength uh, was really good for a while especially if you're like level nine and you just need to get bumped up to level 10 uh having that cigar was super nice to save you five points um ai will destroy area 60 percent on fall after unreachable side path. Now, does this mean that when an enemy falls onto a block or something, it says destroy area 60% on 
on a fall after unreachable side path. I'm not I'm not exactly sure what that means. Like we'll have to test this out in practice because this is a uh, the way this is worded is confusing. What does it destroy though? It says destroy the area, but is that the ground? Is that the you know any blocks that you've put up under it? That's uh this needs to be explained a little better. Uh, traders now sell glue, which is nice because Monkey was just, I was just at the store and he was telling me to buy some glue and we couldn't find it. Um, when the ply option is checked in the F3 debug screen, the C, I don't know what this is, the CVAR uh, window with the new search box will be displayed on your right hand side. Ideal for searching XP related CVARs. I have no idea what this is. Like I said, we don't get into the, we haven't delved into the debug options or anything like that like so we don't know anything about that um here's here are the things that are changed optimized catwalk rail metal corner catwalk rail single catwalk uh wedge rail chair and coffee tables uh separated pathing distance cost from break jump cost and added per path scaling to allow path variations that's interesting uh Increased trader rewards, which is nice because uh, me and Monkey were just doing those yesterday and we were kind of complaining about the rewards that you get, so it's nice that they increase that. Uh, AI jump max distance to random to a random range. Set zombie ranges and, and made heavier zombies jump shorter. Okay, so heavier zombies have a shorter jump uh, and I guess the maximum range uh, distance of some zombies have been optimized. Uh, update several buff descriptions and journal entries to reflect the changes. That's nice. Added a beaker to the medical quest loot. And that's cool. Uh, return of the ghosted block preview from Alpha 16. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Added asset uh, acid to lab equipment loot. That's cool because it should be there instead of constantly finding it like in the trash or something. Uh, water and food to be shown. Uh, to show the current value of current water and food plus consumed water and food amounts to be ap applied. I like that. Um, also, I noticed when I drink water or eat food on the game now, you can fully see it go from whatever percentage it was at all the way up to wherever it's supposed to be uh, in, in its entirety. Like, it, you don't just see it go up slowly. And it goes up a bit quicker, too, I noticed. Um, adjusted max water amounts uh, in progression to reflect the food amounts. Uh, updated chrysanthemum seed icon. Oh my god. Flair has been talking about this for... Has it been a year now? <laughs> the chrysanthemum seed icon? He's He's been flipping out about that. So uh, I guess they fixed that. Hopefully you're happy. Uh, show the water and food as actual value instead of percent. That's nice. Increase dog health and wolf health. Oh. Mm. Alright. Death penalty cannot stack on repeated deaths. Thank god increase block upgrade speed of the nail gun and the claw hammer oh my god why the fuck did you decrease it why did you decrease it in the first place dude that was so annoying that was like a super ridiculous nerf to the nail gun and claw hammer um it, it annoyed me it annoyed the fuck out of me but they fixed it now which is good because that was that was a weird change that it took the magic out of finding the nail gun it was just like why am I excited for finding the nail gun if it upgrades just as fast as the hammer does? That that defeated the whole purpose. Uh, but I'm glad they fixed that. A wood pole can now be crafted without the table saw, which is nice. Uh, updated vehicle wheels icon, that's cool. Increased amount of old cash found in containers and zombie loot, that's cool. Uh, mod melee structural brace can be installed on bows and has fewer stacking issues, that's nice. Increased size of snake colliders. I think uh, I think that means it just increased the the size of the hit window, so you can actually fucking shoot them properly. Uh, increased harvesting and XP upgrades. We know that that's great. Increased AI range to attempt a gap jump. Really? Increase the AI range to attempt a gap. Did they, so does that mean we'll have to we'll have to check that out because that's interesting. If, if they increase the range, then that means that the builds that we were doing before that people were saying were dead are now back not dead, like are, they're viable again. I will have to check that out. General strength perks have their own category, that's nice. 
Perks concerning harvesting, looting, and carrying things require lower attributes scores to unlock. Thank you. Increase the amount of food you can overeat to 50. That's nice. Increase the stack count of buff magazines. That's also very nice. Increase the stack's number of cash. Now this might be a little controversial because I don't know if everybody knew about this, but there was a glitch you could do with the cash to duplicate stacks of paper. Um, like you could you could scrap uh, an amount of 500 money and as long as you had your, like your inventory was full or something, you would scrap it and it would go back into your inventory and it would just duplicate a bunch of stacks of paper. Uh, it doesn't look like you'll be able to do that anymore. Um, I could be wrong, but unless they in, in, increase the stacks of paper too, uh, we'll have to see. So we'll see. Um, let's see here. Where'd I, where'd I leave off at? Do, 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 do. Oh, there we go. Allow 45 degree rotations on wood and iron bars. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Added support for lumberjacks. Wood now sell for a reasonable amount at traders. Okay, cool. That's cool. That's nice. So you can actually make money from wood now. Uh, that'll that'll be very helpful. They'll probably limit how much they can buy, but that's that's really good. Player sellback rate is improved, so selling items to traders is more profitable. Thank you, because for the most part, that was kind of worthless uh, when it came to certain items. Uh, increased drop percentage of armor mods. Nice, because uh, we don't see those very often. Vehicles can be assembled from parts without a perk. Ah, oh, okay. Glue requires one bone instead of two. That'll make Monkey happy. Reduced price of glue. It was more expensive than duct tape, which made no sense. Uh, no sense at all. Uh, terrain and prefabs is now integrated into the height map to save a temporary file. Okay, I don't know what that is. Uh, optimize the way the imposter prefabs are calculated, less network traffic. So that's, uh, that's some of the more technical stuff. Uh, these are the fixes. We're not going to really get into, uh, well, you know what? I think we can. We can get into the fixes real quick. Um, the the last thing is the known issues and you guys can check that out yourself but the fixes might be important uh because there were some issues that we were having and we'll try to get through these really quickly because i don't want this video to be too long stack current life does not uh reset reset upon health that's nice uh craft timers not being loaded from save data correctly uh ai climb flag not set when temp move i don't know what that means uh, LCB icon is still shown when LCB has been destroyed by another player. They fixed that. I'm just going to read these guys, so if you know what it means, then it, you, you know what it means. Uh, bed row compass map icon was still showing when destroyed by another player out of the chunk. Crafting timer doesn't advance properly when chunk is unloaded. Uh, fuel burn timer showing huge negative value in MP. I didn't even know that was happening. Uh, silencer does not actually silence all weapons. I did notice that. That was weird. Uh, tuned water message closer to actual in-game effect. That's nice. Clarity is good. Increased quality of items. Quest rewards. That's nice. Uh, vehicles out of world check using different positions for chunk and terrain tests so vehicles could get killed and removed kill. I don't know what that means. Zombies prefer not to path glass blocks. This is one that's really interesting because there was a project that I was working on that failed miserably. And I was trying to make an entire base out of glass. And the zombies were just like, no, no, we're not. We're just going to tear down whatever you're standing on. We're not going to path it. It's not happening. Uh, and it was very disappointing because I wanted to make that work and it didn't. So it might work now. We'll see. Player backpack can be pushed under the world. God damn, I'm glad they fixed that. Dupe anything in the container. I didn't even know this was a thing. So, whatever. If a server is restarted shortly after placing a vehicle, the vehicle will disappear. Oh man, Monkey. Monkey was not very happy about this one. This happened to him a lot. Fixed mis mismatched reinforced padding icon. Uh, any block that can be picked up can be picked up in a LCB protected area. Uh... Land claim block. There we go. Got it. Um, so they fixed that. Relogging on an active marker. 
Don't know what that means. Quests sometimes require moving to the corner or center of the PLI to show a rally marker. Yeah, that's annoying. Wellness achievement update to use fortitude. Wellness achievement updated. Oh, to use fortitude. Okay. Uh, Relogging on a fresh quest will break trigger area. Holy shit, really? Uh, tier 5 does not give you a complete quest after requirements are met. Holy fuck, that was happening? I didn't know these issues were even in the game. Uh, when blocks are placed where sleepers would spawn, they can turn yellow. What? That's interesting. Uh, replaced. What is that? Uh, CT. Wait, CNTM random loot helper and house old mansard with random. What the fuck? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Allow harvested dec uh, decor plants to be scrapped. I guess Flair will be happy about that. Weapon bags do not fall when POIs fall. Uh, clothing change can cause a major lag spike or FPS drop. Yeah, that was happening a little bit. Updated mining journal entry. That's fine. Tree duping issue when hit by vehicles and LCB. I didn't know that was a thing. Holding F is not mentioned on relevant item descriptions. I'm glad they fixed that. Open and close toggle issues with some hatches. Uh, strong zombies drop less cash than weak zombies, which blew my mind. Uh, item is lost if left on the mouse when closing the container. What? That was a thing? Holy fuck. Uh, tool belt items being stuck after use. Thank you! Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. If you guys watch our streams, this is supremely fucking annoying. I'm glad they fixed that. Bleeding buff carries over to respawn. Oh god, thank you, they fixed that. Sidewalk terrain will not allow placing blocks on it. Uh, yeah, that was a, that wasn't really an issue that we dealt with, but I heard about it. Self-medicated perk magazine is still in game. Was it not supposed to be? Or, that's weird. Uh, command smooth word while, uh, only working for 4k maps. Corrected more burn times. Xbox controller has not designated button switch for making air vehicle point down. Added controller action to the hop. I'm not sure what that's referring to. Maybe the the plant of the helicopter thing or whatever. Uh, fixed distant water not being flat as as the client. Yeah, that's just a visual annoyance. Wrong stats to play it on some armor mods. That's good. They fixed that. Grandpa's awesome sauce is too awesome. Really? So did they dumb it down? Interesting. Water's not wet enough. <laughs> what? Swimming in rain will now cool you down. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? How long did it take for them to do that? Uh, gun tool nail gun can use trigger group mods. Uh, mod armor water purifier collides with a, a mod armor helmet light. Gotcha. Terrain decoration like trees and resources and rocks would sometimes not be placed. All right, so lots of changes in this one. They they have been they have been doing work, man. Uh, and as I said, I appreciate it. I like all the work that they're doing, and I, I like the the rate in which it's coming out. It's very frequent, and it seems like they're addressing a lot of the issues that we're actually having, and that's good. That's really good. So. Hopefully you guys got uh, got your fill. I know that was a little long, but uh, we went over everything. Um, if you want to go ahead and explain some of the things that I didn't understand down in the comment section below, please do so, so everybody can have a full understanding. Um, I don't know everything there is to know about this game, but we do play it quite a bit, so uh, it, it's sometimes I just won't know what some of this stuff is, but... Uh, more than happy for you to fill in those blanks for me. So thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you liked it. Uh, and uh, we'll see you on the stream tonight at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye, guys.